Hey love, so as per the title, this video is going to be about using new products and um, I'm breaking out as you can see my forehead and this this particular cheek, I don't really don't know what's going on, I've just given up but yeah, it's life so I'm just going to record because if I say I will not record, I will be waiting for a long time and I need to put out content so let's just get into it, let's put the hair back We've done that already. I've done my eyebrows. Please ignore these eyebrows because they are grown and I'm intentionally growing them out. I've left it so it grows and I can shape it to the shape that I want. So ignore these bushy eyebrows and let's move on. Yeah, so I'm using this setting spray from Urban Decay. Um, it's called that's like D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. So I'll be using that to set my face it's not coming <laughs> it's not coming oh okay it smells really nice it smells really nice I'll be using the NAS Radiant long wear foundation I'll be mixing the shades because I've already used my right shade which is New Orleans um, I've already used that up. So I'll be taking my car, which is lighter. So I'm gonna put that at the back of my hand. So that's my cow. And then taking the darkest shade. I'll be mixing them so I can get my shade. Yeah, so I've mixed that. And then I'll be taking this sponge from Beth Main, Beth Main or Beth Main, not sure. So I'm going to apply this on my face. Spritz the spray, and I'm going to put this all over my face. Use the sponge to take the rest, and then start applying this on my face. Now I'm thinking the Macau is too is too much. <laughs> That, this foundation is very thick like I forgot like this foundation is so it's full coverage like it's full coverage so when you do it you have to be extremely careful not to take too much so this is the Colourpop Cosmetics no filter concealer and I've heard so much about this concealer and I wanted to try it out and this is in the shade deep golden it has an applicator I don't want to use too much I'm afraid no I don't like to highlight my forehead too much way too much I'm going to leave it to sit a little bit and then I'm going to contour with the darkest foundation by NAS. Um, it's called Mali. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to use that to contour. And I'm just going to set the concealer. I don't have a new setting powder, so I'm going to use my Laura Messi setting powder.
I'm now going to set my contour and I'll be using the black radiance powder. It's broken so I can't show you but I'll put a name I'll put the name in the description box. It's a black radiance um, soft focus finishing powder that I've been using all the time. I'm using that to bring back the warmth. Now I'm going to spray the Urban Decay on my face again and because I want to prevent fallout from the eyeshadow I'm just going to put this I'm just going to put this here and I'm going to do the same thing with this side Now I'm going to conceal my eyelids using the same concealer I'm going to use this as the base for my eyeshadow I really like the the applicator of the concealer is is big enough and the concealer isn't so watery is it's not so thick um, I think the, con the consistency is is good now I'm just going to blend this on my lid and this dries quickly so you have to be a little bit fast when blending because it dries quickly I'll be taking the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Mast Remastered Palette The packaging is really nice. I really love how it looks. It's so pretty. It has the flowers and everything. And then um, when you open it, it comes with a mirror. And then this thing is here. And then the shades are in there. So I'll, let's play with this. So since we are using new tools, I'll start off with my Evitat Joseph Salted Collection. This is the G275 Dulex Blender from the Salted Collection. And then I'm going to take Henna. I'm going to take Henna and put that in my crease. Wow. The colors are very pigmented very extremely pigmented and I love this brush it's rounded it's full I love it I, I just love it. and I'm going to drag it out and I'm going to put that under my eyes Manitha, the shade here. This pack, this palette is intense. Like, <laughs> it's intense. Like, it's freaking intense. Yeah, it's gorgeous. When you're taking the colors, you have to be extremely careful. Just at the corner of my eyes, the bottom lash line. Sandalwood. I'm going to tap on that. And I'm just going to use that to blend out the lash line. Yeah, just using that to blend out that lash line over there. I'm going to add cocoa.
rose gold is so pretty it has purple and gold glitters it's so pretty um okay let's put that on the lid bubbly this shade right here and with manita 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 hopefully that's it but yeah manita yeah and I'm going to like the brush that over over it going in with a clean brush I'm just going to blend the front so it's not as messy line my eyes with a black coal pencil my waterline now taking my mascara going to apply that on oh my lash from bottom up yeah and now I'm going to apply these lashes from um, Danique or Danique lashes i got them from ej beauty store um this is the jade hey darling lashes jade hey darling lashes they are very long so i need to definitely i need to definitely cut them but they're so nice I wanted to do a 90s makeup look but I also wanted to film this so I decided to film this so and I'm not even going to be there for long but I'll definitely be rocking my 90s outfit which should be good enough I'm just going to line my lip with a brow with an eyebrow pencil from So Aesthetics. Yeah. I'm going to spray my face again because I want it to be dewy. This doesn't make it dewy, it controls oil. And I think it's doing an amazing job, but I just want to bring down the whole powdery look and it doesn't look so powdery yeah yeah
so that's his neat freak and quickie from the makeup share um, collection Inner beauty trust fund this one here i want to highlight with that it looks like a nice gold So this brings my look to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. And I'm on my way to a 90s party. So I'll catch you in my next video. Adios. Bye.